How beautiful is Lake Mawala? It's a man-made lake, hence why all the trees are there, because it used to be a red gum forest. But what they normally do is they take all the trees, they fell them all down. Instead, they've left them, and that means cod real estate El Primo. Cod love it. Now all I need to do is find Terry so we can actually go and catch some cod. Fishing is my life. It's in my DNA. From above the water and below the surface. It's who I am. Join me as I travel the world in search of the most insane fishing experiences on the planet. You got him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Big fish right there, Al. Yeah, baby. the size of it. <laughs> oh, man, that is so good. Nice job. I'm Al McGlushin, and this is Fishing With Mates. <laughs> I'm heading down to Lake Mulwala. Now, Mulwala is in the Murray River, which is on the border between Victoria and New South Wales, sort of right on the edge of the outback. What's amazing is that as a kid, I fished these river systems and I never caught anything but invasive species, carp and redfin. A Murray cod was like a mythical creature that I never saw. So now, to hear these reports that Lake Mawala, and the season has just opened for cod, is back up and running, there's fish here, it's full of Murray cod, is something I'm really, really excited about. It's like I'm catching that mythical fish that I never saw as a kid, and now, I'm going to go and catch myself not one, but hopefully a whole lot of Murray cod. And to do it in somewhere as picturesque as the Aussie outback, can't get much better than that. You can tell I'm excited. Half the adventure is just getting here. You're driving through all the fields, you've got open plains, then you're going through all the grain crops. There's something about the Aussie bush that makes it so, well, so Australian. I'm headed to the Complete Angler to find my mate Terry. He's keen to take me out to fish Lake Mulwala. He's got decades of experience catching cod. Some even say he's a bit of a cod guru. Terry, how are you, mate? What's Good happening? Heaps, mate. How are you? Tell me about the cod. Don't worry about me. Let's just go straight to the cod. How's it fishing? Uh, good. You probably get a good bite in Savo. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't seem really keen. Yeah, yeah. As long as that wind stays away, we're, we're laughing. Wind? What wind? It's a cracker of a day outside. Perfect for catching cod. Terry and I might disagree on the weather, but at least we can both agree on which rods we prefer. I love those Zodius. It's such good little sticks, those, aren't they? Yeah. Surface lures, Al, that we'll be using. Bigger or? Yeah. A lot bigger, some of them. Holy cow, so right up. <laughs> yes, mate, yep. And your mumblers, chatterbait, they're fantastic. Never fished my whaler in my life. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, like I'm virgin material, I'm telling you. It's... Oh, you're in good hands with Terry. Yeah, I'm hanging for it. Mole Whaler sits on the Murray River between the Victorian town of Yarrawonga and the township of Mole Whaler on the northern side of the Weir. It's not a huge lake. It's less than half the size of Sydney Harbour, so covering just about 4,500 hectares. Mole Whaler has long been a tourist mecca for Victorians. Being just a few hours north, the lake has become a famous playground for not just fishing, but water skiers, wakeboarders and jet skis. And the increasing numbers of cod in these waters has meant fishing has gone through the roof. Now, let's go catch some. Let's just get this baby started. Terry, where are you? Oh, I'll meet you at the boat ramp. His version of boat ramp is a bit of dirt in between the trees that goes into lake. Terry, how are you, mate? Good, Al. How are you going, buddy? I got cameras, I got life jackets. Terry's got the boat in the water ready to go. <laughs> how good is this? So what's the plan? Well, the plan is we'll get up and get into the shallows and we'll, we'll smash the shallows with spinner baits. He seems a little bit nervous about the whole thing. They're all meteries in here, aren't they? Very excited to take <laughs> Al out on the lake, but at the same time, feeling a lot of pressure. So how long do you reckon you've been fishing it now? Oh, uh, close to 20 years now, Al. 20 years. I love cod. They can test you out with how hard they can be and how stubborn they can be. They're just amazing fish. 
It's calm, it's looking good. So you're ducking and weaving through all these tree stumps. And when I'm talking tree stumps, it's like a minefield. But you know what? That's where the cod live. If we see a really good lay me down that looks like it's holding fish, we'll, we'll pepper it from every side we can. Lay me down. Uh, a, a log that lays along the, the oh, bottom right, of the right, river. Right. Just checking. Um, just yeah, it, but yeah, I just yeah. didn't know everyone else knew that. And everything's slow in this place, eh? As soon as you get out of the channels. Yeah, you don't want to go much quicker than this out here. We're only in 1.4 metres of water. All oh, right. With snags. <laughs> Everywhere, look, there's Everywhere. bloody snags. So we start fishing, it's all looking good. Oh, oh that's a good one. At least it's you casting like that and not me for once. It's normally me doing that. <laughs> yeah. See where those guys are in there. They're probably only in a, a metre of water. So they're quite happy to sit right in the shallows, are Oh, they? yeah, yep. You always think it'd be deeper water, but no. Yeah, it blows your mind when you see the place when they drain it. So how often do they drain it? Just every few oh, years? Oh, every few years when the weed gets really bad and pretty much starts choking it. And, oh, jeez. This is going to be fun. The wind's starting to pick up a bit, and then it starts getting a bit black out the back. I don't know what this weather's doing, mate. It gets blacker and blacker. Holy dooly. Terry's a bit nervous. It's a bit of breeze blowing. It's all right. I've got marlin fishing, mate. It's fine. Don't worry. They're actually starting a white cap out there. The wind was blowing straight across the lake and pushing us in towards the bank. Aren't the cod meant to go off when you get that stuff coming? Yeah. It is looking a bit ominous, you know. They sit stormy, but not like this. And you don't want to be out there in those conditions. It can get pretty scary. Oh. I thought, this is crazy. Let's just go back and have a cold beer. No, we just keep flogging the water, mate. Ah, she'll be right. Ah, just that little one building up straight over the top of us, you know. But Al, <laughs> he's a funny bugger. But you know, I'm a, I'm a full-on seafarer that I'll take it like a man. And then it just got crazy. Oh, it's getting wet now. Yeah. Mate, it's whitecapping big time. We had to get off the water. Let's go! <laughs> All hell's about to break loose. Cairns, when it's like this, you just go, we're going home. Yeah, you don't right. need to be out yeah. this when it's when it's this harsh. This is such a landmine in here, you know. It's only a metre, a metre deep. That's the wind just pushing me now. Oh yeah, it's just blowing you across, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> oh, it's crazy ass, isn't it? Boat's going all over the place. Give us a go if you want. I'll give her a Have a go, Al. Yeah, give us a go at it. Never seen someone jump out of the seat so quick in my life. Now, how many are we going to hit now? <laughs> <laughs> Al, you can drive the boat, so if it does sink, I don't get the blame and lose my job. There's some merge ones I'm not so sure about. Like that one. So we're trying to get back in. We're in a little boat, and it's what I'd call a little sea, but it's blowing 40 knots. It's a bloody big sea in a, in a lake. You know the funny thing? You're doing this for fish that you're letting go. You're not even keeping it for dinner. We're going to catch it to let it bloody go. Yep. And then we're going to go and buy fish and chips for dinner. And we finally get back to the boat ramp. Luckily, where the boat ramp is, it's a bit calmer. And... <sighs> not the way we planned to start. It's bloody cold now. Wet T-shirt cold. Woohoo! It's all right. Tomorrow is another day. Coming up. Oh, look at the boil. <laughs> the cod guru lands his first follower. That's the one I like. This week, I'm on the breathtaking Lake Mulwala. It's the morning after the storm before, which saw my mate Terry and I make a bolt for stable ground. It's a new day here, and we're on a mission to catch the elusive Murray cod. So we get up early, ready for action. This is it. It's going to happen because Terry's got this favourite little stretch of bank that he fishes all the time. This is a hot spot, guaranteed fish. Launch the same spot, drive out. Is this one of your favourite banks along here? It is, Al. Yeah. This looks terrible. It's a little bit murkier than yesterday after that storm. Yeah. All the wind has stirred the whole lake up. That doesn't affect the fish too much. It's Well, let's hope not. Fair income. It's probably the worst I've ever seen the lake. Looks like yesterday's storm really stirred the lake up a lot. The problem is cod are sight hunters. If they can't see the lure, they're not going to eat it. Waiting for the cod bite time, eh? Yeah, mate, yeah. In the good area for them. We're flogging the water to death it's with cod. If they can't see the lures, you're not going to catch them. You know, the clarity's that. And when it goes to that, when they say put the lure on his nose, you'd have to put it down his throat for the damn thing to eat it. Come on, coddy. It's unreal sometimes, you can go all day. Yeah, and then, then they just get, like, all of a sudden it's... Yep, you go bang, bang, get one or two, and then 
I go quiet for a little while again. They don't have like a mobile cafe, one of those <laughs> ones that drive around the lake ring, do they? <laughs> That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? <laughs> so we're flogging the water, we're flogging the water. I just want to get a hit. Come on, give us a bite. Get in and get eaten. Come on, fish. Why did it have to storm yesterday? Why? Several hours later, I'm looking at Terry. Terry's looking at me and going, are we going to catch something in this? He goes, oh, nah, I reckon we're wasting our time. What are we going to do? Terry's got a plan. I reckon we might head up to Bundalong. I'll get out of this wind, mate. It's all right. We'll find him. We'll go up there and give it a crack. And The wind didn't settle. It was terrible all day. Doesn't matter whether you fish offshore or not, wherever you fish, I hate the wind. That's the beauty of Mulwala. It's so big that there's always another spot to try. So we thought the only place we'd get up to is the top of the lake. You went through all these beautiful little spots. It looks unreal. We found a bit of calm water. So we get up there. We're in amongst the trees, because they call it the Everglades. Absolutely amazing country. You know, he's promised it's going to be calm. And it was calm. He didn't tell me about the jet skis, though, did he? He didn't tell me about the speed boats. I thought they had short legs for a minute. <laughs> Don't you love the serenity up the back here? <laughs> had a few casts here, a few casts there. Came to a willow. Oh, yeah, heaps clean of water, eh? Now, you can pick it straight away with Terry, because he likes his cod, but he likes willows, because cod live under willows. I like the willows. It's a lot of shelter, a lot of bait hang around them. Oop, there's a willow. Slide in next to it. As soon as I seen that bit of dark, shadowy water, yeah, I had to hold a fish. Yep, fish, fish, fish. Got him on. Oh, look at the boil. <laughs> Bang. Yep, I'm on. Don't lose it. I'll grab the net, mate. Meanwhile, I'm still standing in the background. It's not a bad fish. He's a good fish, mate. He's a real good fish. Oh. I actually called it for a bigger fish because he put up a bit of a fight. Gets it up. It's not as big as we thought. Races around the other side of the boat. Finally get it in the net. I reckon you go about 80, I reckon. 80, you reckon? I reckon you're on the money. It's not the biggest cod in the world, but you know what? This is a great way to start the day. We'd done it tough for a couple of days, so it was good to find a fish. Bugger it. If he catches the first fish, I'm going to fix it. I've got this brand new metre long complete angler mat, which is a metre 50, because I've got this new metre long club. You get a cap if you make the metre. So if you catch a metre long fish, you get a cap. What are you calling him, mate? Terry might have caught the first fish. But you know what? You're not getting that. 60... 69. 69! That's the one I like! 69 centimetres of cut. That's how we want to start. Look at that. What a beautiful fish. It would have been nice to push least close to the metre, but anyway, a cod's a cod. I like them all. I don't care if they're small or over a metre. Just love catching them. You know, we've had storms, we're having everything, and the fish are just quiet, and then all of a sudden, it's game on, and it's the same as we've been doing all day. So we'll put him back in. You know, that's the important part, isn't it, with these fish is to... I think so, Al. The handling is very, very important. Because it's not just letting it go, it's looking after it. You always want to support their bellies. Don't keep them out of the water long, too long, especially on a hot day. Get them in the boat for that quick flick, mate. They're yeah, such a beautiful fish. Oh, aren't they? He's in, been in a good paddock, this fella. <laughs> Same paddock as you and me, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful, eh? <laughs> awesome, Al. Was that? Awesome. We worked for it. We caught it. it. Yeah. We got the metre long one, the hat there. Yep. You didn't get a metre, mate. You've only got 69. <laughs> That's for you, Al. you got to get the metre. <sighs> Bring it on. <laughs> Coming up. Oh, that was a hit. Bugger. Damn it. Mighty cod. We're in the Australian outback on the mighty Murray River. My mate Terry just caught the first cod of the day. And now we're headed to another spot where, if the fishing gods are smiling, I can catch one too. This is warm today. This is it. We're going in. We're going to be catching heaps. We didn't. We flogged the water to death. Wherever we fished, just not even a bite. Just nothing. Come on, fish. That's unreal, eh? Not a touch. Whether I'm pulling them in or not, I still have fun trying, so it's good to be on the water. Come on, fish. Problem is, I've had a bit of a love-hate relationship with the Murray Cod. It's haunted me for all these years. Gone to Copeton. Bloody Curtis. 
Whoever gets the big fish will sleep in there. So Big Cod gets a tent. Oh, nice. what is hell? Oh. oh, this is sabotage at its finest. Curtis has got a cod, so now I'm out of the tent again. This is not fair. The Murray Cod is becoming my little damn unicorn. So it's like, Rodeo Terry, we need to sort the cod situation. What would you suggest, you reckon? Just, just keep, just keep smashing, just thousand keep casts, just keep going. away. Plugging away. So you've got to just stick at it. You've just got to keep casting. You're not going to go out there and brain them every time. What else would you rather be doing? Oh. Well, that's it. You don't catch them at home. No, that's for sure. Nice country, though, isn't it, up here? Yeah. All these yeah. little lagoons hanging off it and stuff. Yeah, that's right. What's your biggest, then? The million-dollar question. Uh, mine is only about 110. <laughs> Nothing wrong with 110. Yeah, yeah. Caught a few meteries now, uh, but I like them all, Al. I don't care what size anymore. I don't care what size yeah. it is either. Uh, Especially today, I just want one. Yeah. <laughs> Cod are so temperamental, aren't they? Like, uh -huh. they always, what is it? They talk about the bite, the bite window. Yep. Well, I reckon the window's shut at the moment. <laughs> this is tough. It's tougher on me because I still haven't even had a bite yet. They're very, very stubborn, mate. If there's one thing this trip can teach me, it's about how hard cod fishing is. You've got to earn every fish. But you know the best part? You get to do it in the Aussie Outback, which is the best place on earth to go fishing. So we've got plan A, that failed. So we've got plan B. Uh, I thought of a place and told Al all about it. So we're going to this spot, guaranteed cod, secret spot no one knows about. It. All his mates are catching heaps of fish there. So obviously someone knows about it. This is going to be it, guaranteed. How good is this joint? You said it was going to be picturesque. Holy moly. Pull up and it looks insane. Like, it's unreal. All right, let's put this puppy in. Yeah, let's do it. This is going to be it. Put the boat in, load the boat up, get all the gear on. Really, I had never been there before. Has he ever been up here? Never, Al. I've only ever come as far as that bridge. Bring a couple of mates that live locally and catch a lot of good cod, and what a great spot. Wow. God, it's beautiful country, isn't it? Yeah, you don't have to travel too far, do you? People don't realise how good this country is, and it's all right on your doorstep. You've got river red gums dropping in next to you. You've got tree stumps lying in the water. Lay me down. Mate, this is screaming cod. Looks pretty damn good, I tell you. So we start working our way up. We're flicking away. Come on, buffets. You know what I reckon the best part about coming to Lake Mulwhaler is? Well, I've long had a thing with the birds, you know? They flock to me. But in Lake Mulwhaler, they flock to you and screech and carry on like you're married. It is unbelievable. You organise the cheer squad and everything, mate. <laughs> You'll see heaps of corallas, cockies, galahs, all nesting in all the dead red gums. Oh, that was a hit. Only a little touch, though. Bugger. Damn it. Bloody cod. Coming up, it finally rains to end my dry spell. Cod master! We're on the tranquil banks of the Murray River. We found serenity, and now we just need to find a cod. You've got to work for them. They, uh, they don't come easy. Come on, fish. Has to be under this tea tree, surely. Oh, come on, fish, please. And then all of a sudden, I've cast in against this. Lay me down. Flicked in, work it down. Yep, got him. Got him. Bang! He nails it. He bloody nails it. Got him on. Fighting him. Only a little one, but it's still a fish. Chased him up. Side coming that side. I finally caught a fish. He tapped it. And, it doo -doo. and you know what? He's only about. Probably about. He's mm. not a big one, but. Oh, it's a metery. <laughs> it's a metery. <laughs> well, we didn't put him on the brag, mate. I'll tell you that. Come on. Cod bastard! How hard was that one? Well, little bastard. Yeah. Bloody hell. Stow's fish was beautiful, little fish. Do you reckon that's going to be like a <laughs> metre fifty? <laughs> don't think he even needs the brag, mate. Yeah, no, I don't reckon. He wasn't the biggest cod, but he was the prettiest cod I've ever seen. He's a nice fish, isn't he? It's a fish. That's all I'm excited about. <laughs> I'm fishing for ages for these bloody little buggers. It followed him in a fair way, and when he did hook up, that was like beauty. That's that's a relief. That's great. He just needs to tell mummy and daddy now to come back out. I reckon. All right. Now let's one fish closer. Look at him. That's a beautiful little guy. There you go, buddy. There you go. 
absolutely, he's just sitting there, he's about to go absolutely off his tree. All right, oh. we're kicking it through. Good work, Makes Al. it all worthwhile, all Good the scenery, work, but you still need to catch a fish. <laughs> That's exactly right. That's what fishing with mates is all about. <laughs> all right, maybe we don't go home, maybe we catch one more. Yeah, yeah. One Drive more. One more. One more bigger one. <laughs> Now, Terry's been casting this massive local custom lure because he wanted a big cod. But what's he do? Changes over to a spinnerbait. He's just copying me now because I'm like the true cod master, you know? I'm up a cod, he's still learning. It's like your disciple. So he's rigged up, casts in, second cast. Bang! Oh, yeah. Mongrel's on. Got him on. Good one, good one. You've had your chance, Al. It's my turn now. In that shade too, eh? Yep. He said two casts with a spinnerbait. I've cast 50,000 times. He's a good one, Al. He's pulling drag with this thing go. Oh, geez, he hit hard. I called him for a lot bigger fish. If it's pulling drag, it's a good fish. Oh, Al, quick, get the net, man. That's a good one. It's a better fish, mate. Find it, it rolls over. No mucking around with the net. Scoop it straight up. Oh, yeah, Al. Oh, <laughs> yeah, beauty. How <laughs> good that. In that shade, are you looking in, in there, guys? Right up in there, he was. He might have caught it, but I pretty much guided him to it when you think about it. So I take half credit for that fish. He'd be 80 plus. Oh, yeah. He's mate. going back on the mat, mate. <laughs> I'll let him use the brag mat this time. That was probably the third cast on that lure change. Spinner bait, mate. Spinner back onto bait. a spinner bait. As soon as I changed over onto a spinner bait, bang. It pays to change things up and try different things. Oh, he's got some weight to him. Oh, yeah. oh. All jokes aside, that is a good river fish. 70, 78, 75. Good fish, mate. Yeah, he's a beautiful specimen, isn't he? Look how dark he is. And he's got something real hard in his belly. Probably a bird knowing that bloody thing. Probably a big turtle. Oh, what a beautiful specimen. Big buff head. You know, you said come down to Mulwala and we've got to give this a shot. Yep. We end up seeking up the river and stuff, but yep. this is what you come for, isn't it? Oh, exactly, Al. Bloody beautiful. Send him back so he can get a lot bigger, eh? Bigger and better. Bigger and better. You catch a fish like that and let it go, and seeing that big girl, boy, cod, I'm not sure which one they are, just swimming off, oh, that's what you come for. How good is that? And doing it with your mates, that's as good as it gets. It's, that's what it's all about. Now, we had everything thrown at us, haven't we, the last couple of days? We got a couple of fish out of it, yep. and that's part of it. That's, yep. part of, yep. that's part of fishing with your mates, is that these things that you got to work for them. You don't catch fish oh, every day. they don't come easy, mate. They don't come easy. If you do it in such magical country like this... Yep. One more cast. One more one cast. One more cast. 